Hey YouTube. So today I'm talking about computers and what I want to share with you is not what type of computer to use, but how to protect your computer so that uh, you will not be harmed or people that you do business with will not be harmed because of, of your use of your computer. So the first thing I need to speak about is your computer and how you use your computer. So if you have, uh, you, you obviously have a computer that you use to do uh, your work, loan signings, or whatever you're you're doing, your you know for your notary work, and that computer should only be used for work. You should not be browsing the internet uh, for personal use. If you want to do that, get a personal computer to do that. And the reason for that is because you open yourself up for um, malware and viruses if you. Uh, use your personal, you start using your, your business computer for personal use, okay? Uh, if you go to um, some uh, sites that you shouldn't be uh, going on, or even if you click on a site that uh, you didn't intend to go to, you might end up there and malicious software might be downloaded to your computer that will then affect your computer or send... Um, you know, information to some, some guy in Russia or wherever, uh, and you don't want that to happen. And the reason why I know about this is because early on, not early on, but probably about, I want to say, mm, about 15 years ago, I uh, had a customer where, um, where they were hacked. They, um, it was a restaurant that they were running credit cards through their point of sale system and they ended up being hacked. And uh, not, not saying that they were using their computer for personal use, obviously they weren't, uh, but this is ties into what I'm getting into next. And that is uh, having virus protection on your computer. Now we we had some software on the computer that would prevent viruses from uh, staying on the computer, but it just didn't work. It wasn't good enough. So learn from this learning experience when they brought out um, this company that was evaluating or searching for um, what was going on at this particular location. Uh, the guy told me, hey, you should be using this software. And I'm going to bring that up now. I want to share that with you. Um, and I've been using this software ever since, uh, which is, I don't know. I haven't had a problem ever since I've been using this software. So let me share that with you. Here it is. So I use this uh, ESET security software. They also have a virus protection software. Uh, this one does everything. You can literally block network traffic from your computer. So for example, if you're uh, working on your paperwork and you don't want internet access on your computer, you can cut it off completely so that nothing will be transmitted to or from your computer. So it's like you're unplugging your computer from the internet using this software. Uh, there's also, uh, besides scanning your software, um, it has, uh, you can protect it, your webcam, so that it won't access your webcam. There's other tools that are, that are involved here uh, besides, uh, just virus protection. And so that's kind of what, why I use this um, 
software on all my computers, not only my uh, business computer, but my home computers. And it works great. I, I don't have a problem with it. I don't, there's no affiliate link. So just, I'm telling you this, I'm not making money off of this. This is not a commercial, but I'm just telling you from my experience that this software has been a benefit to me. And I've, um, it's caught some viruses and removed them from my computers in the past. Uh, you know, and I'm pretty good at knowing when I get viruses on my computer. You know, and one way to do that is if you click on a link and nothing happens, you're pretty sure that you're ending up getting a virus or something. You know, if if you if it does something that it or doesn't do something that you're looking for it to do, then you probably it's doing something that you don't want it to do. Okay. So that's the software I use uh, for my computer. Uh, so besides the fact that you you have a separate computer for your business and your personal use a virus protection on your computer to prevent um, you know viruses on on your computer virus protection is not a hundred percent so just be aware that it doesn't matter if you use this one or uh, Norton or some other company that uh, is out there they're not a, they're not a hundred percent guaranteed and so that's why it's good to keep everything separate the other thing is keeping your internet separate, um, have uh, a internet that's separate from your um, business internet. And there's a couple ways to do that. I'm just gonna briefly share that with you. I, I have two separate internets. I have one, one for my home and one for my business, okay? It's expensive to do that, but here's the thing. I don't, I can't sit there and blame my kid who's watching porn that I don't know about, you know, hopefully they're not, but uh, I'm just saying that, you know, whatever, whatever's happening in the house, I have no control over that. And by having it separate, I don't have to worry about uh, things happening to uh, my business computer network. Okay. It's all separate and there's no no issue, okay? There's other ways to do it with one internet connection. That would be um, plugging a separate router into your internet. So you can have two different routers, one for your business and one for your personal so that everything's routed through one router um, and they're essentially on separate networks, okay? So you can do it that way as well. Uh, so, uh, those are a couple of things that I wanted to share. I'm not going too in depth with this. I just want you to be aware of this is what you'll need to do to protect yourself and your business. Uh, you know, keep a separate computer. Make sure it has virus protection. Make sure your internet's separate from your personal. Uh, there's many more things that you can do uh, for your computer to help it. Uh, run optima, optimally <laughs> and uh, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do that uh, so just want to share that with you and uh, hope that you benefit from that with that said this will be it for this video and I'll come out with some other videos on uh, technical aspects that help your business and I hope this helped. Thanks and have a great day.